ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕਾ ਖਾਲਸਾ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕੀ ਫਤਿਹ ਮੇਰਾ ਨਾਮ ਜਲਮੀਨ ਕੌਰ ਹੈ ਐਂਡ ਆਮ ਹੇਅਰ ਔਨ ਬਿਹਾਫ ਆਫ ਦ ਸਿਕ ਫੈਮਿਲੀ ਸੈਂਟਰ ਆਈ ਵਾਂਟਡ ਟੂ ਸ਼ੇਅਰ ਵਿਦ ਯੂ ਸਮ ਆਫ ਦ ਵੇਜ਼ ਥੈਟ ਵੀ ਕੈਨ ਕੇਅਰ ਫੋਰ ਆਰਸੈਲਵਸ ਆਫਟਰ ਦ ਰੀਸੈਂਟ ਟੈਰੀਬਲ ਅਟ੍ਰੋਸਿਟੀ ਥੈਟ ਹੈਪਨਡ ਇਨ ਇੰਡੀਆਨਾ ਆਰ ਹਾਰਟਸ ਏਕ ਫੋਰ ਆਰ ਬ੍ਰਦਰਸ ਐਂਡ ਸਿਸਟਰਸ ਥੈਟ ਲੋਸਟ ਥੇਅਰ ਲਾਈਵਸ ਟੂ ਦਿਸ ਸੈਂਸਲੈਸ ਗਨ ਵਾਇਲੈਂਸ ਐਂਡ ਆਈ ਨੋ ਵੀ ਹੈਵ ਬੀਨ ਕਮਿੰਗ ਟੂਗੇਦਰ ਐਸ ਕਮਿਊਨਿਟੀ ਟੂ ਸਪੋਰਟ ਥੇਅਰ ਫੈਮਿਲੀਸ ਐਂਡ ਟੂ ਸਪੋਰਟ ਈਚ ਅਦਰ ਬਟ ਵੀ ਆਲਸੋ ਨੀਡ ਟੂ ਸਪੋਰਟ ਆਰਸੈਲਵਸ when violence and harm is done to our community it can really shake in our sense of stability and safety and we all respond to trauma in many different ways and unique ways there's no right or wrong reaction and there's no exact timeline for our healing journey and you don't even have to be the direct recipient or victim of the violence or have been in that situation or location to have it affect you it's like a pebble when we throw it into a pond there is a ripple effect that spreads out and can still affect us all still. I wanted to share with you some normal ways that may we, we may react to such traumas so that you can better understand them and better take care of yourself. You may find that you have no feelings or you may have many very intense feelings all at once. So the reactions can range. Sometimes people have an initial feeling of shock. You may feel numb. Um you may feel disoriented or confused. and that may come and go. You may uh, instead have very intense feelings like fear or grief or sadness or anger. You may find yourself feeling very um sad with tearfulness and sorrow. You may feel deep grief in your body or you may experience sadness such as having a hard time concentrating at work or um not wanting to really do anything or go anywhere, withdrawing. You may find yourself feeling very angry. You may um feel angry at the perpetrator. You may feel angry at this country. You may feel angry at the world. These are all very normal reactions. The most common response to a trauma like this would be anxiety. You may have some anxiety around day-to-day -day life. You may have panic feelings. They may come and go. There may be a reason you're feeling panicky or no reason at all. you may find yourself repeatedly thinking about the traumatic event you may also kind of have intrusive thoughts that just come in randomly you may end up feeling um like you can't sleep while you have nightmares or bad dreams all of these are very normal responses to trauma so whether you're having a few of these symptoms or many of these symptoms symptoms some things that can help the first thing to do would be to try to validate what you're feeling try not to minimize or judge what's happening for you. Everybody reacts to trauma in different ways, and we have a tendency when we're having painful emotions to want to push them away or minimize them, but that is not helpful, and if we can rather embrace our feelings and comfort ourselves, then we can feel better. Apne aap nu sukh dai deo. The second thing that you can do is if you're feeling anxiety about safety especially, try to identify what things are in your control in your environment. You know, remind yourself that you can run, you can scream, you can call for help, you can call the police. These are important things to do when we're feeling like the safety of ourselves or our loved ones is threatened. So, jovich tode vasvich hege uda dyande. And then thirdly, the last thing is if you're still struggling and feeling overwhelmed, please reach out for more help. You can call the Sick Family Center hotline and we can provide you with other resources to provide you with more support. Jitwanu hali vi bahut parishani ho rahi hai fir to see Sick Family Center and you call kar sakte ho. So I wanted to talk for a minute also about children. Children can have very similar experiences when they're faced with trauma and these kinds of violent situations. So they may be also having their own fears, anxieties, worries, um sadness. And when our children are struggling, we have a tendency to want to make sure they're okay and make them feel better. We might say things like, you know, sub sub ko chunti kage, to see fikr na karo. But that may not be helpful. Rather, see if you can listen to what they're feeling. You can ask them, "Dil vich ki ho raha hai?" Thus thuso. And if they still feel like they need more support, it's important to get that for them. You can talk to their school counselor, you can call the Sick Family Center hotline. Um, if they're feeling that they're unsafe, remind them that it's the adults' responsibilities in their life to keep them safe, and that we are committed to doing that. So, as we take these first steps in our healing journey, remember that it's not always easy to feel these intense feelings of fear or loss and grief. 
but it is in feeling these feelings that we find our inner strength. Finally, we find that joy we glow. It is in the darkness that we find our true spirit. It's like the pebble again. When it's thrown into the water, there is a ripple effect. So as one of us heals ourselves, it heals our whole community. So remember you're not alone and please take care of yourselves. Bye, Grujika Khalsa. Bye, Grujiki Fateh.